Let us now get into the second topic that is the functional structure. Unlike in the case of a simple structure where it was a direct contact between the owner and, the, and its employees, the disadvantage with this particular simple structure is that the owner takes care of the day-to-day -day operation and he's not worried about the future. So the growth of the employees are limited or restricted as far as the simple structure is concerned. Whereas in the case of a functional structure, the advantage is that each headquarters or each functions are separate division in that particular structure. So the advantage is that they become more accountable as far as that particular structure is concerned. In the case of function structure, the R&D becomes accountable for all research and development works that takes place in the organization. The finance department becomes accountable for all the costing and the finance related matters. Marketing department is solely responsible in generation of revenue and for marketing of the product. Production department takes care of only the production. See, this is the advantage because the focus is much better as far as the functional units or structure is concerned. The production department is able to focus purely on the production aspect. Marketing is able to focus purely on the marketing aspect. Uh, unlike the case of the simple structure where the owner has to take care of all the functions, all the divisions. Here, each individual division or function takes care of itself. So accountability becomes very important as far as the functional structure is concerned. It also becomes a very good training ground for the specialized functions. However, it becomes nar it narrows down the specialization person from the production would not know what is happening in the marketing person from finance would not know what is happening in in production so it, it is because it becomes a very narrowed field as far as the function is concerned however the functional structure helps in the proper growth of the organization because each individual function tends to grow separately and the organization grows overall